In this video tutorial, we will be talking about what is sample space. Let's check out the definition of a sample space. It is the set of all the possible outcomes. So let's take a look at your example. Suppose you have two coins and you toss them one at a time. Then what are the possible outcomes after both coins are tossed? So here we have a quick diagram. So we have coin one in blue and coin number two in red. So when you toss coin number one, what are the two outcomes that you could possibly have? Hopefully you're thinking about either heads or tails. So head stands for, or H stands for heads and T stands for tails. Now when you go ahead and flip coin two, don't you think you have the same outcome? You will either have heads or you will either have tails when you toss coin number two. So when we take a look at both of these two coins being tossed, we want to look at the outcome of what will appear. So we could have maybe two heads appear from both coins. We might have um, coin one appear with a head. However, coin two might have a tail appear. Or perhaps maybe coin one has a tail appear and coin number two has a head that appears. Or perhaps we might just have two tails. So this collection right here, these four are the possible outcomes and these four options are also called your sample space. Now let's take a look at another example to discuss about sample space. In this example, we're going to be making a list to find the sample space. You're making sandwiches with two meat options, ham and turkey. And you're using three bread options, rye, sourdough, and wheat. Find the sample space by, use, by using a list for the sandwiches that will contain one meat and one bread. So if you were making these sandwiches, you would have to decide what bread to choose along with what meat. So let's go ahead and get us started. What if I choose to make a ham and rye sandwich? Can you think of other options that I can have a ham sandwich besides using rye bread? Hopefully you're thinking ham and sourdough and ham and wheat. So those are three different sandwiches I can make just by using the same protein, ham. Let's use our other protein, which is turkey. With turkey, I can use rye bread. I can also use it with sourdough bread. And also I can use turkey with wheat bread. So here we have six different sandwiches and all of these options represent the sample space. Now we solve this question by making a list. However, it can also be represented in a table and here's what it looks like. This is the same question, just presenting the sample space in a different format, in a table. So here we have ham paired with rye bread, ham again with sourdough, ham with wheat. Turkey and rye, turkey with sourdough, and turkey with wheat. The last option to display sample space is through a tree diagram. Let's check that out. This is the same information so in the first column here, we have our proteins, we have ham, and we have turkey. In the next column, we have our choices of breads. So we have rye, sourdough, and wheat. So we're connecting our protein ham with every single bread option. And then on the far right, that is where we write our sample space. So ham can go with rye, ham can go with sourdough, or ham can go with wheat. And those are the three ham sandwiches. And we do the same thing with turkey down below. So again, this is all the same question, just presenting the sample space in three different ways. 